Hey everybody, welcome back to Overland Florida. I'm Kevin. I'm enjoying this beautiful Thursday afternoon. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. No wind, blue skies. I'm on a brand new 2022 StarCraft SVX 171. So it's about that time in the afternoon where my night shift friends are waking up and my day shift friends should be getting off work here in a couple hours. So I put the text out. We're gonna see who wants to come swimming for the afternoon. Probably gonna stay out till about 7.30 this evening, right before the sun goes down. I'm actually on my way right now to Lake Summit Boat Ramp. I'm gonna pick up Anthony, he got off work early. So we're gonna go out, do some swimming and just uh, wait for everybody else to get off work or wake up. This ain't my first rodeo, it's my second. This thing gets on plane so fast. Yeah, sick. <laughs> it almost feels like a jet boat. Oh, it's gonna be nuts. So we made it to the area where we normally swim. Water looks as inviting as ever. A little choppy, a little bit of a breeze on this side. I guess it's time to uh, put the ladder down and jump in. What an absolute beautiful day. And it wasn't too many years ago where the water in these lakes were so low that this was actually like dry sand like you had a little sandbar here people could have their dogs and set up chairs and tents and uh that's how much these lakes fluctuate over the years right now it's about average hasn't rained in a while so it's going down but can't complain we have this whole area to ourselves well this time i did not lose my hat to the wind we lost my towel but now we can't find it it was literally right here Man, that thing sinks so fast. I, I feel kind of bad. We don't ever, uh, we don't ever leave stuff in the water, but if you can't find it, you can't find it. Man. All right, well. On that note, we are driving across the lakes and we're gonna go get something to eat, probably at the Twisted Prop, which is our favorite place if you haven't been able to tell. So lunch was good, dropping Anthony off back at the boat ramp. This is Lake Summit. So there are some clouds coming. I don't think it's gonna rain. If anything, it might just drizzle for a little bit. But as you can see, behind me, got some blue skies. And right over here, we got some clouds, but not really bringing any kind of wind or anything, nothing crazy. So um, on the way to the restaurant, I passed some of my old coworkers. They were in a pontoon boat. I think they're probably going to uh, Lake Winterset to go swimming. So I'm gonna head over that way and uh, see who's hanging out over there. So I guess when I passed them in the canal, they were probably going to the boat ramp and not going to the uh, swim spot in Lake Winterset. So I went all the way out there, didn't see anybody there. And I decided I'll probably just call it a day and head home. And it's only 4.55. So I've really only been out here three hours. And that's probably another benefit of the boat club. You don't have to plan an entire boating day and going swimming and you know have all kinds of people. You can just go out for a couple hours each afternoon if you want to. I usually go from two to 7.30 or sometimes I just wanna swim real quick and then uh, get home before the sun goes down and finish some chores around the house. But um, I don't have to worry about, you know, towing a boat or fueling it up or cleaning it or anything like that. I just show up, get on the boat, drive around, swim, go eat lunch. It doesn't really matter what you do. So I am now in the canal heading to Lake Eloise. Still a rather nice day. Waters are really calm. So I'm just moving these lines back to the front. We moved them whenever we docked at, um, at the restaurant. The canal for the boat club's right over there, so 
just want to make sure I get it all ready before I go through the canal since I'm by myself right now. But other than that, this boat's pretty nice. You can probably fit eight people comfortably on here. Of course, you got a Bluetooth radio, nice uh, swim ladder in the front with a little area, and then you got a swim ladder in the back and the same little platform in the back here as well. You got a ski pole and everything, nice bimini top. Although I think, I'm not sure if someone lost it or if they just have it at the boat club. It needs a, it needs the little uh, sleeve that gets zipped over it so it's not flapping in the wind. It might, actually might be, somebody might have stuffed it under one of these seats or something, but I'll look for it in a little bit. But other than that, great boat. When you're going in the canal, it's not necessarily the Starcraft itself, it's just the design of the hull. And it's the same with all the smaller deck boats like this. It's hard to keep it straight when you're going through the canal. You really have to turn that steering wheel to keep it straight, especially if there's another boat coming at you. But when it's on plane, the thing steers and handles really well. And like I said, I think I'll have to check with the GPS, but according to the gauge, we're definitely doing about 41, possibly 42 miles an hour, which on this small of a boat, it makes you feel like you're going so fast. So I stayed long enough to watch them fill up the boats. You don't have to, um, they have your credit card on file. So as soon as you get off the boat, you can just get in your car and leave. Um, but I'm curious sometimes just because a lot of you want to know how much we spend on fuel and these boats and stuff like that. Um, we didn't do a whole lot of boating. Uh, we went through a few lakes, but basically we just kind of backtracked. We started here. I picked up Anthony. We went all the way to the restaurant. I dropped Anthony back off. I went all the way to Lake Winterset to uh, see if my friends were back there. And then uh, I came back. So. We didn't travel a whole lot of uh, lakes today, but we still got a few a uh, few miles in. And I would have guessed that we used like three gallons, because like I said, this boat does about 40 miles an hour, and we are, we are zipping across these lakes. And uh, I'll be darned if I used eight tenths of a gallon of gas, which the gas here is about 565, maybe 570 a gallon um, for marine gas. So basically, maybe barely $5 this entire afternoon of just boating, you know, going to the restaurant, swimming and stuff like that. So it's not very expensive. Um, not as some people make it out to seem. Uh, it also depends on which boat you choose as well. So the deck boats are generally pretty good. Your bass boats are probably the most fuel efficient, um, but maybe not the most comfortable if you're having people over and stuff like that. So um, yeah, you just depend on what you're, uh, what you're gonna be doing that day on the boat. You know, if you're just gonna be cruising around, I'd try to pick the most fuel efficient boat and uh, how to pick the most fuel efficient really comes down to the design of the hull. You know, the less water that's being displaced by the hull, um, the uh, the less resistance you're going to have going across the water and stuff like that. And then you're going to want a boat that gets on plane faster. So there's a lot of uh, science that goes into it. But uh, other than that, just these boats aren't that expensive to operate on a daily basis if you're going to be coming out um, and just enjoying the water and stuff like that. So don't think the gas prices are going to be a huge burden once you become a member of the Freedom Boat Club.